Yo, 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 John here. Today I'm gonna do a rig rundown, and it's not gonna be for vocals. This time it's gonna be for recording guitars. So this is quickly how I record my guitars. First you start off with your sick Gibson. And then I run that signal into this JDV, it's a radial direct box. So that's your input, and then it has several outs. The first out would be a tuner, so you know what fucking tune <laughs> you're playing in. And then the second out I have going into my Audient preamp, that would be a clean DI signal I can use for, you know, plugins or whatever, reamping. But I found this Audient sounded the best out of all my, uh, all my preamps. So that goes into my digital 192 uh, via light pipe and yeah, that's, that's it for that signal, pretty easy. And then I have another signal that comes out and goes into my Kemper. And then that goes over here into my Vintech. I can control that. I have, uh, it's got an EQ on it. It also goes through the distressor so I can bypass it or, you know, leave it on. Um, I'll use this if I have clean tones or leads or whatever I want to, you know, put compression on. Um, but then that goes over here into an Apogee converter into <laughs> 192 digital again. Um, so I have a bunch of guitar sim signals. Um, I'll use the, uh, you know, a lot of neural DSP, STL tones for plugins, and then all the Kemper tones. Um, I blend those together or use them singly. I have thousands of tones. Um, I used to have used to have a stack of heads here, mic cabs, do all that jazz. But technology has made it so easy and so quick. And it's so versatile, like you have tons and tons of tones now. It's insane. So I made the switch to using digital when the Kemper came out. And yeah, I haven't looked back, you know, I'm still down to track cabs, but this is a super easy way and it just gets the fucking job done just as good or better. So that's how I do it.